Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, April 18th, 2024. Let's find out what's going on on the Forex economic calendar today. Overnight data uh, were in form of the um, Australian full employment and unemployment rate. Unemployment rate completely disappoints market uh, participants. It increases from 3.7% uh, to 3.8%. Uh, we got some speeches from um, Bank of the um, um, Bank of Japan. Uh, then we got other data from the uh, Australia, and during the early uh, London session we got ECB the windows to give a speech please remember Eurogroup meeting is still on uh, then we got the German Buba uh, president Joachim Nagel to give a speech at 2 o'clock p.m. and then the key data for today are scheduled for release Philadelphia Fed manufacturing index scheduled for release at half past two uh, Philly Fed employment half past two initial jobless claims from the US half past two and then we going to the existing home sales at four o'clock. In the meantime, we got the FOMC member Williams to give a speech and um, um, uh, FOMC member Bowman to give a speech. And then we got the FOMC member Bostic to give a speech at five o'clock. Then we have speech for the, from the ECB uh, Schnabel. And at the end of the day, we got Fed's balance sheet scheduled for release at half past ten and quarter to midnight. There's a FOMC member Bostic uh, speech. So. Plenty of speeches, not too many data releases. Nevertheless, we got some data from the uh, U.S. Um, economy. Um, so Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index and initial jobless claims. So let's just find out you know, how the uh, U.S. dollar is uh, doing across the board. We are going to start with Euro dollar. Euro dollar four hour chart uh, is looking right now to test the supply zone after the local low was made at the level of 1.0603. Uh, so we got the double double bottom here. Let me just mark it as the technical support for the uh, for the euro dollar and for the bulls of the euro dollar. We can even make it a little bit lower because this one is uh, 1.0602. So that's one pip lower. Let me just mark it here. What is going on uh, right now? Let me just move my supply zone. Uh, let's say, let's move it here. Supply zone uh, label. And what is going on? We broke above the uh, 50 periods moving average on a four hour chart. We broke back inside the old demand zone, now supply zone, located between 1.0668, 1.0696. Momentum broke from the extremely oversold conditions back above the level of 50 neutral level now trading in side the very uh, nice uh, looking um, positive territory nice looking because it's very very sharp increase here very nice increase here there is a room to the upside there's room to the upside here however we are now trading be that easy uh, as it uh, as it seems right now even if we break above 1.0696 the next target is 1.0727 maybe 100 periods moving average located at 1.0748 will be uh, will be uh, tested uh, sooner or later but the data must help uh, bulls to test this uh, level uh, first, so euro dollar very important zone. Please focus on this situation here. We don't want to see bulls don't want to see reversal to the downside after breaking to the positive territory. And if there is any rejection of the supply zone, we might see the test of the uh, support at 1.0602 back again. Let's find out what's going on on the euro dollar to the Japanese yen. The four hour chart is showing us that the US dollar to the Japanese yen is coming off the recent swing high. Recent swing high is located roughly around 154.80. So we will mark it with a thick red line. And as you can see, we went from the lows of 146.50 from the 11th of the March 2024 in three dif distinct waves yeah wave one to the upside consolidation and breakout wave two to the to the upside yeah uh, uh, wave three to the upside or wave C to the upside right so what do we see here is some sort of the technical support for the uh, for the bulls very important technical support mm -hmm. 
tested many times 151.98 break out to the upside there's another technical support just a little bit above of this one which is located roughly around 153.33 and now the market is coming off extremely overbought conditions we are now testing the level of 58 points 60 points and so right now it looks like the market wants to do some sort of the pullback the movement to the upside is in the five ways one two three four and five with the fifth wave extended which which means that uh, this movement to the upside might be exhausted and it's time for the bears to push the market a little bit lower in order to do some nice uh, correction there uh, all fa um, the famous uh, orange line is here on our chart which means that this is the um, uh, short term uh, technical uh, line trend line and uh, we will mark one more level here 153.94 which will act as the technical support for the bulls any breakout below this level that means that the um, bears are in charge of the market this level was tested twice already both of the tests ended up with the big um big downside pin bar yeah lower shadow as they say uh big lower shadow so bulls are defending this level because they know if the if the bears break below then the next target is 100 and uh, technical support 153.33 momentum is in favor of the bulls but it's coming off the extremely over about uh, uh, areas we are trading below uh 50 periods moving average so if there is any uh, sort of if there's any sort of data in favor of the US dollar we might see uh, temporary movement uh, to the downside uh, extended right so keep an eye on the US dollar let's just find out uh, uh, what is doing the crude oil because we got some situation here right now what is going on is the breakout to the downside where is the technical resistance for the for the bulls it's obvious it is here because uh, it used to be a very nice level for the uh, uh, for the bulls so this slide zone 83 86 83 90 is now the technical resistance we are trading below this technical resistance below 50 and 100 periods moving average big break breakout candle to the downside back into the extremely oversold conditions so there is a time for a pullback to the to the upside however we are now testing the technical support so this is even more probable we will see some sort of the movement uh, to the upside after this uh, this level is uh, is tested basically and uh, in case of a breakout to the downside we got two more levels here they might be located between 81 and 80.30 so very nice technical situation here you can see the market is reacting on the technical levels yeah, the, the momentum is negative so we should see some kind of a pullback so the next way for the um for the crude oil is like this maybe some kind of a uh, test of this um, technical resistance and the last arrow will show you that uh, the downside continuation should be should be possible down towards even the level of uh, 80 dollars per barrel so only a breakout above this zone here would likely uh, change the situation to more uh, more of course um, bullish the recent swing high 87.62 is the main level for the uh, for the bears it cannot be of course violated otherwise the bears will not be in charge and the market will be uh, fully controlled by bulls and last but not least one day before the halving what's going on on the bitcoin we are um we are looking at this chart we've been looking at this chart for many days and we are looking at this every day yesterday new local low uh six fifty nine thousand six hundred and eighty four slight pullback to the upside and um, it looks like the market is still under the bearish pressure we got this uh, negative momentum negative sentiment prevailing um, uh, on the market despite the fact that, that the bitcoin is just one day ahead
uh we are trading below 50 100 periods moving average we are trading below uh, let me just remove this line because it doesn't actually looks good. oh there you go so this is the blue one uh, we are trading below this technical resistance so i'm going back with the resistance here because it's important there you go so 64,476 and of course uh we are testing the technical supports as you can see both of them uh, might be crucial for the uh, a potential rebound yeah we are waiting for we are waiting for the for the uh, uh, halving to be finally completed without any problems and then we will see what will be the the path for the uh, for the bitcoin it all looks like a one big horizontal trend one big correction one big partial distribution of the last profits we are trading uh, last uh, last numbers for you guys we are trading right now um one day ahead of the halving we are trading roughly around 19 percent away from the all-time high that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis i hope i see you guys next time take care and bye bye